This is downtown Spruce Pine, North Carolina, on a bright sunny day. There's the drive-in. Great milkshakes over there. Lots of traffic because they got the main road closed, so they're routing it through to downtown. And this is the upper end of downtown. And uh, I'm here to show everybody the opening of our latest project, which is the freestyle at Dixie's Emporium. And as we're speaking, we are open on Buy Nothing Day because it is a free store, so you don't have to buy anything. We've already had customers. We've already had people bringing by donations, so that's good. And what you're looking at here is the storefront, the building we're in. That's my friend Kim. Wave to the people at least, yeah. Kim's working on the signage. That's Tom, our consulting engineer, artist, critic, and all around good guy. And you can see the window in the background. So um, the free store is open for business. Freestyle at Dixie's Emporium in Spruce Pine. We're gonna repaint that mural, do a little bit of signage, we got the flags up. This building is actually Kim's, uh, who is over here working on the sign. And um, it has had several lives. She and I moved to the area about the same time. We've worked on numerous projects. We did Bruce Pine's first and only alternative gallery show. Um, it has been a bakery, a cafe, a most excellent pizza shop, which is moved next door. Um, somebody bought her out, expanded it, and moved it next door. Um, back to a bakery cafe, and it was most recently a thrift store. And now, through the graciousness of Kim, she has joined our little collective, and we have opened it as a free store. So let's walk inside and see what's going on. Free Friday Film Festivals, biscuits and jams on uh, Saturday morning, play music, eat biscuits. And here we're going to do a walk around in the free store. Here we go. So everything you see here, all displayed on the racks, is in fact free. Quality stuff. We've had a lot of donations. I had a lot this morning, actually. Um, Kim works to display stuff really well. We clean everything and put it out because we're trying to serve the community in need. Um, these are just paper mache pig heads. Those those are not for for free or giveaway, but they make a great display for that little outfit. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tuxedo in the free store. Sweaters, socks, coats, jackets, pants. The sofas are for lounging about as we make this an activist center. We live in an extremely conservative part of the world. There's about six of us here that tend to be forward thinking and progressive. So we decided to open this as our first foray into community activism on a permanent level. Like I said, we're just now opening, so we're getting our inventory up together and we have a good selection of shoes.
again, a free store. Take what you need, give what you can. Donations accepted, not required. We're starting to get the kids stuff in. Look at that. These things are somebody donated these this morning. Great little t shirts and stuff. A few little housewares and a few books. On the bar here, they're starting a good night gorilla. Got some customers in the cafe part. Still looking for small appliances and small housewares and stuff. So we take donations of cash if people want to give them. Then we have feature pieces like this silverware set and we'll do raffles once a week so like you throw in a dollar and um, then we'll raffle this out on probably Fridays going forward. I have no need for that because I use plastic wear from takeout at home. <laughs> <laughs> so much, yeah, not for me. Much too fancy. It'll be a good compliment to the plastic wear. So this is looking across the bar. It's a beautiful space, right? Do you have a collection of universal sheetrock screws? <laughs> universal sheetrock screws. And so we have folks visiting the cafe, and so the deal is here, Kim makes all the baked goods, and we have coffee and tea, and those are retail, and Whatever we make from that goes into supporting the space. Cool. Menu on the board. And we have a commercial kitchen. Commercial kitchen. So we are going to be doing free Friday dinners once a month. Everybody eats. And then... Like I said, this side is like retail, but what happens is all of this stuff is going away and going to be replaced with books, shelves, and we are going to start a small anarchist bookstore. So with politics, civics, sustainability stuff, um, history, Hopefully a few videos and stuff, like with Howard's Inn, you know, education, information, food, shelter, education, communication. Um, the first alternative bookstore in this part of the state. And serving a vastly underserved and conservative community, we're going to try to open people's idea, minds to other ideas and other possibilities. So we'll be working with our friends at Firestorm Cafe in Asheville to help make that happen. We do mix art and activism. There's the penguin. The penguin womacum. So, that's freestyle at Dixie's Emporium. The only free store, anarchist bookstore, and community activism center in the three-county area. Wish us luck. Thanks for watching.